it's vlog time. Hey Potter Puffs, welcome back to my channel. I am so, so excited. I went to Primark this morning and I managed to get my dream outfit, and I mean the best outfit, for the Harry Potter studio tour. Now I'm pretty sure I've talked about this quite a few times now. That's how excited I am. I go on, I think the 18th of September. It isn't actually booked yet, but we know we're going that day. Me and Nifflers and Nargles, AKA Danielle. We're going together. She's a Ravenclaw, I'm a Hufflepuff. We're going as Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw students. We weren't sure what to wear, so I thought I'd just do a relaxed kind of vlog today so that we can choose the outfit fit together and I mean you guys and me I'm just so excited about this I didn't know what to buy today I was looking at black dresses I was also looking at like dungaree type things I just couldn't see the right thing but then and I believe in things happening for a reason I saw a yellow skirt which was like I think it's plaid is that how you say it plaid plaid I don't know it's the yellow checkered thing it's a skirt in the style I would wear and they just had my size they had a size 12 just randomly on the wrong rack and I was like wow this is meant to be so let me show you what I've got I also have a Primark haul coming that's coming in the next few days but I was just too excited about this I just had to film this first so excited so I was on quite a tight budget so that's why Primark was definitely my friend because I thought if I get some official stuff that's going to cost me loads of money and I had to be kind of clever about it I was looking on EMP lots of different websites but today you guys and me we're going to look at hair maybe makeup but really I'm quite simple with makeup we know how that goes I'm going to also choose shoes and like what pins I'm wearing that's the thing I'm most excited about the pins. If you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe, turn on that notifications bell and also give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it and please let me know what you think of my Hufflepuff look because as we know it's going to be amazing, I'm going to wear it and I need to know that you guys approve of the Queen's look. I'm not showing you guys all of the items yet, just the ones that relate to today's video. Oh, I can't say that, today's video. So I bought the skirt first, as we know, it was love at first sight. I love it so much. Look at this, it's perfect. A Hufflepuff student would totally wear this. I don't know what this style of skirt's called. I want to say A-line, I don't know if that's right. I'm not really into fashion enough to know what the type of skirt's called. Here's the design and it's got the little red stripes, black and yellow, so it's perfect to wear around Hogwarts Castle. Tried it on, it was amazing. So that's part one of what I'm going to be wearing. And then I had to find a top to go with it. Now I do have like a halter neck top, which I was gonna wear, but I'm one of those people, I just get really, really hot really easily. So I know in the studio tour it's quite hot, so I was a bit scared of wearing in September something that's too like long sleeved and something where if I get too hot I can't do anything about it. So I didn't want to wear a jumper or anything like that. I just wear something with a jacket so that I can take it off. So like by this point John was getting quite bored so I couldn't take ages trying to decide on what top to buy. I was just kind of looking around for black things. But another thing just jumped out at me and it was this. Isn't this cute? Now it's kind of a cropped top. Now I don't wear crop tops because of my stomach, but this one is perfect because the skirt is kind of high waisted and it has got this really cute polo shirt kind of design. So you could do it up like that. And it's got a collar, which is again, a very good school look. But another thing I really like about it is A, it's short sleeved, but B, we've got these little frilly sleeves, which are really cute. This was just five pounds and I got it in a 12 to 14. So those, are the basis of the outfit. Let's get going because I need to find accessories and try this all on. It's gonna be the best thing ever. So we have the top, the skirt. This is just gonna be amazing. On the bed, this doesn't look amazing, but it's going to be so, so cool. Now, the first thing that me and Danielle said we need to have matching is I suggested the Geek Gear pins, the head boy and head girl ones, but obviously both head girl. I have such a collection of pins now, and I want to do a video on this, but this is the one I'm gonna use. This one is so, so nice. I can't remember where I've put all the backs, all the backs of the pins, I need to find them, but it's so gorgeous. And it's really gonna stand out on that black top. Let me put it on right now. I'll find the back in a minute. I mean, the only, the only thing that's kind of annoying me about this look is the fact that the yellow isn't the same. You know, I can't complain about this. I just can't 
didn't really choose Potter Puffs. Should I have another pin as well? Hmm, there's so many pins on here. I feel I should wear another Hufflepuff one as well. I guess we'll do that one there and then that one, or is that too much? Oh, I can't decide. I'm so indecisive. I'm so indecisive. I feel that I should only have one badge. I don't know why. I want to wear two, but I feel that looks a bit silly now. So just yesterday I took loads of photos from my Instagram account and I put this all away nicely afterwards but I do feel that I'm going to need something out of one of these geek gear boxes. I keep all of my ad hoc items in there and they all fit in really nicely it's just annoying when I have to go get something out which is now oh I'm gonna have to but let's just appreciate a second I put all my geek gear prints down the side of my wardrobe. I didn't want to put them on the outside because I thought oh that's a bit much in my room they look really really nice on the inside this side is harry potter look how cute they are i have all my cushions at the bottom it's so crazy but let's get out what i need right now okay so this box is full of harry potter goodness look at this geek gear one it's got so much in it but one thing i thought so what we were just talking about i didn't want to use two pins because i think it's too much sadly i think it is i'm going to use this pin but I'm also going to use one of my three Harry Potter lanyards. So I'm going to have either this one, which is my platform nine and three quarters one, or wait for it, this one, which is a better yellow to wear with the skirt. It matches better because this one's more of a mustard. The skirt's a bright yellow, so I'm going to decide in a minute. Or this one. So there's three different ones. This is probably my least favorite one. I'm kind of feeling this one, but it is quite long. In this big box of goodies, I have more stuff. This is what I'm definitely wearing. I'm obsessed with it. It's my Hufflepuff bunny ears scrunchie. It looks amazing in a high ponytail. It's so pretty. And I never used to wear one of these in the 90s, but apparently they were a big thing. I could put a baby Hedwig at the end of my lanyard. Would that be weird? I'm not sure. Okay, and I also have a Hufflepuff bow, but I don't think with the scrunchie I'd wear a bow, but I will try it on just in case. What else do I have in here? Also have a Hufflepuff hairband, but again, this is overkill, so I'm gonna have to decide on this. I'm probably going to use this one, but don't hold me to it because I could definitely change my mind again. So trying to put socks and tights on at the same time really doesn't work. I'm not quite sure why I just did that. I just started to put my tights on over socks. So in all of the excitement today, I pinged a nail off. I just spent about, I don't know, quarter of an hour debating whether to tuck it in or tuck it out. Tuck it out? Tuck it in or have it out. John decided for me and we're going with tucked out. So let me show you. The only way to show you, because um, I'm gonna just balance beam along my bed and then you can see what the skirt and top look like together. And then I'm going to just do my hair and the accessories, which is the best part. <sighs> Let's do it. So that was like my best catwalk impression because I don't do that kind of thing. So here is the skirt, here is the top. It looks really cute, it's all frilly as I said. So let's do the hair. I'm gonna do my hair again because I've messed it up trying on the clothes. But let's put on the pin. I found the back for it, which means it's a very good day to do. So here's the hair bubble, which we know I'm definitely wearing. Let me sort out my hair right now. You don't wanna see me do that, so let's do a time lapse. So I've done my hair, really, really happy with that. I'm definitely not going to be using this because I look like I'm something out of primary school if I wear this as well, it's too much. So we've got the badge, we have got the skirt, which you can't see, the skirt and the hair. I'm undecided about the lanyard. Again, I think it might be overkill. Let's see. So here's the lanyard I will use if I do use one. Let's just try it on. So it matches the skirt really well. I think I'm going to actually wear the lanyard. I love this bit at the end. It's just really, really annoying. But we got the hair, we got the lanyard, badge and a skirt. 
I think we are done. I think that is a good Hufflepuff look. I'm just gonna choose my bag and my shoes and then that's it. Okay, so the bag I chose, as I said, I was gonna get a certain one in Primark, they didn't have it. I'm gonna use this one because it's beautiful. It's the one I use quite a lot. And it's got on the side this adorable headwig and this key ring, which I got for my birthday. It's like the old style Hufflepuff logo from like the original 2001. Absolutely love it. So that looks awesome. That was already on there. And it's a good size for like carrying things for vlogging with me. Let's put it on. Perfect. I'm ready for the studio tour. And then for my shoes, I just chose these ones. They look like work shoes. Well, they are work shoes, but they look also like school shoes. So they work with this and a skirt. It looks really, really cool. So I've done it. I'm all ready for the studio tour. Thank you guys for helping me get ready. I'm so excited to go. It's only a few more weeks. So I'll be doing tips for the studio tour, a vlog, and of course, a haul. And make sure if you haven't, that you go and check out Danielle's channel, who is Nifflers and Nargles on Instagram and YouTube, because she has loads of awesome Harry Potter content. And over the next few weeks, she'll also be doing studio tour vlogs and videos with me. And yeah, there's going to be loads of goodness. We're even going to go to Laycock Abbey soon. It's going to be great. I hope you enjoyed this video. As I said earlier, let me know what you think of my outfit. And also, don't forget about my giveaway, which started yesterday. And it has nearly got already a thousand entries. There is a video from yesterday, which is on my channel. And also, there's information on how to enter on my Instagram. I'll see you next time for, I think it is a Geek Gear unboxing next, if it comes this week. And then we have my colouring video, which I've been very excited about. So I will see you later in the week, Potter Puffs. Bye!